Okay, let's go back to Ben Milger now in Kitsilano. So, Ben, what is the asking price for that pile of rubble you just showed us? Well, the house that stood here for almost 90 years was destroyed by fire, and in the eight months since, this pile of rubble has been an eyesore for neighbors, but it has finally hit the market, and for just $4 million, this heap could be all yours. Neighbors tired of looking at this pile of fenced-in rubble in their Kitsilano neighborhood are happy to hear the lot is finally on the market. The price is just under $4 million, and the listing photo, well, it's something else. It's completely insane. Just before Christmas, an early morning fire tore through the house, and only the hard work of firefighters kept the blaze from spreading to neighboring homes. It was extremely, extremely scary because it was very, very close. Before it burned down, the house had five units. The realtor says whoever buys it can build townhomes on the site and sell them individually. This is a multi-family lot which you can put four units on it. That is why it's so expensive. On Friday, the city posted a legal notice, giving the property owner 10 days to clear away the rubble, saying if that doesn't happen, the city will do it and send them a bill. Their original owner get bankrupt right now is under foreclosure, and there's kind of nobody do anything on it. Neighbors say rats and other animals have been living in the pile of debris, and they don't care who pays to clean it up, so long as it happens soon. The city should just go and clean it up and and um, get the people that are selling this to pay for this rubble. It's been there since December 22nd. The notice from the city says cleanup could cost as much as $50,000, a bill that will transfer to the new owner if it goes unpaid. Neighbors hope the lot sells fast. I wouldn't even mind if there was five units if they were properly done. You know, it was a big house. Okay, Ben, they're asking a lot of money for that. Have there been any offers for this property yet? Well, the realtor says a few people have expressed interest, but there have been no formal offers yet. He estimates it would cost about $2 million to build the townhomes. So $4 million for the lot, $2 million for construction, bringing the total to about $6 bucks. Scott? Okay, Ben Milger, live in Kits. Thanks, Ben.